Hello, if you are watching this video, it is an asynchronous day and this is your music lesson. So today we're going to review what we did last week. We'll learn a new note. Then we're gonna do some improvisation. Then we will learn a new song. And finally, we will end class with our exit ticket, okay? So before we get started, I'm going to show you some resources you can use if you don't have your recorder with you. OK, so hopefully everyone has their recorder, but if you don't, I'm going to show you a few resources and I put the links to these on your Google um, class page. OK, so the first one is a virtual piano. OK, so um, the link, it says like Musica, Musica slash piano, it's something like that, okay? So I have this up here now. If you have a um, touch screen Chromebook, you can touch it. Okay, so that's something that you can use instead of a recorder if you'd like. I'm gonna take that down and I'm going to put up the next one. Okay, so the next one is the virtual xylophone. So the link is something like playxylo.com. Okay, and once again, you can either click the bars or if you have a touch sensitive Chromebook, you can just touch them. Okay, this one is easier, I'd say, just because you don't have to be as precise when you touch the bars, whereas on the piano, the keys are a lot smaller. Okay, so if you don't have your recorder, please pull up one of those resources to uh, use, and um, we're going to get started here. Okay, so whatever I ask people to do on recorder, just do on your virtual instrument. Okay, so last week we learned two notes. They were A and B, okay? So we talked about how um, your right hand should just be at the bottom holding it. Your left hand, take your left thumb, put it on the thumb hole. Take your left pointer, put it over the top hole, and this is B, okay? So listen to me play it and then play it back. Make sure that your pitch matches mine. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. All right, we're going to move on to A, okay? So for A, leave everything exactly where it is for B. Don't pick anything up. Take your middle finger, put it over the second hole, okay? So A sounds like this. Okay, practice switching between A and B. Okay, so if you were able to comfortably do that, we're gonna move on. Otherwise, pause the video and practice a little more. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna learn the note G. Okay, now G is a large leap in difficulty from the A. And this is how you do a G, okay? So once again, you have your thumb, you have your pointer, you have your middle finger, you put your fourth finger, we also call this our ring finger, over the third hole. Okay, so you have four holes covered. Now the reason why a lot of people have trouble with this note is because this is just a weak finger. Like it's real hard to control this finger. Okay, so you really make sure you're putting some pressure on the recorder. You know, we talked about having the little circles on your fingers. If you don't get it right away, don't get frustrated, okay? Most people have trouble with the G when they first learn it, okay? Make sure you're using like the fat part of your fingers, not your fingertips. You don't want to do that, okay? G sounds like this. Okay, make sure that you're matching me. If you're too high or you're getting squeaking, it's because you probably don't have this hole covered or you probably took your thumb off part way, okay? Try it again. Okay, so now we're gonna practice switching from B to A to G, okay? So all you're doing is you're adding more fingers, okay? So you have B, add one finger, you get an A, 
add one finger, you get a G. It should sound like this. Okay, so practice that, and I'm going to load up um, part of our presentation here. So we're switching from B to A to G. And now we're going to practice switching those by doing a bit of improvisation. Okay, so last week we talked about the word improvisation. And improvisation is something you're just making up on the spot. You're making it up as you go. Or the verb is improvise, okay? So to improvise is to make it up on the spot. So I'm gonna put up a backing track and give you an example of some improvisation. And what I'm doing is I'm just using the notes um, B, A, and G, and I'm you know, trying to make it interesting by using some different rhythms. And I'm just, I'm just playing around. I'm just you know, seeing what works, seeing what I like, trying different patterns. And so I have this link on your Google page um, as well. Okay, so I'll give you an example. And if you want to do a little improvising yourself later, you can open up that link. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to play this uh, hip hop drum beat. Okay. The first thing you always want to do is like find where the beat is. Once you feel the beat, just start playing around. Okay, so if you feel like you want to warm up a little more and practice switching between those three notes, this would be a good time to pause that video, open up the backing track um, that's on your Google class page and try some improvisation. Otherwise, we're gonna move on to learning a song with B, A, and G, okay? So the first song that we're gonna learn is called Hot Cross Buns. This is just sort of like an old, you know, children's nursery rhyme song. I promise we'll move on to some more sophisticated songs once we've learned a few more notes. Um, so if you sing this song, this is what it sounds like. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you play it on recorder, it sounds like this. Okay, so I'm going to pull up our music here. I also have, um, if you look in the section of your Google Classroom, look under the topic um, music and you'll see that I also have the, the sheet music posted there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is some music for our song, Hot Cross Buns. Now we have not learned how to read notes on the staff yet, but that's just fine because I wrote the letter names above the notes. We have learned how to read the rhythms, okay? So you guys know that this B gets one beat because it's a quarter note. You know this A gets one beat because it's a quarter note. And you know that this G gets two beats because it's a half note, okay? So let's take a look at the whole song. We have a measure one. These boxes are called measures, by the way. B, A, G, measure two, same thing. B, A, G, we get to measure three and it's something different, okay? So you might remember from last year, we did learn how to read this type of note. They're called eighth notes and they're faster than quarter notes. Um, the quickest way to learn this rhythm is just to say the words. One a penny, two a penny. You can clap it too. One a penny, two a penny. G, 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 A, 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 A. Okay, so this is the measure that's different. We get to the last measure. B, A, G. So we really only have
have to learn two different things to play this song, okay? So measure one, let's go through this together. Hold on, I'm just gonna adjust my screen here. Okay, so I'm gonna play measure one. I want you to play it back after me, okay? So watch what I do. I'm gonna try and kind of do a close up of my fingers while I'm playing. Your turn. B, A, G. Do it again. Your turn. B, A, G. So now we're going to do measures one and two together. Okay, so what's going on here? You have B, A, G. To get your, so now you're on a G and you have to get back to the B. Okay, so you're just going to pick up these two at the same time. Okay. Um, I'll play it, listen and watch my fingers, and then you play it back. Your turn. B A G. B A G. Okay. If you're having trouble with that, pause the video and keep working on those first two measures, okay? If you've mastered those first two measures, we're gonna move on to measure three, okay? Take a second to clap the rhythm. We have one a penny, two a penny, okay? So the way that you're making the notes like detached is you're using your tongue to cut off the flow of air, you know? Okay, so, this is what's happening. We have B A G, B A G. Leave your fingers exactly where they are. You stay on G. G G G G. Lift up just your pointer. A A A A. Okay, so we're going to try just the third measure. I'll play it, you play it back. Your turn. G, 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 A, 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 A. My turn again. Your turn. G, 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 A, 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 A. Okay, now we're gonna finish up the song. Okay, so you're on A. You need to go back to B, so pick up your middle finger. B, A, G. Okay, so let's do this. I am going to sing and do the fingerings for the whole song and I want you to play along, okay? We'll do it real slow. One, two, ready, go. B, A, G, back to B. B, A, G, stay there. G, 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 A, 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 B, A, G. Let's do it one more time. One, two, ready, go. B, A, G. B A G, stay there. G G G G A A A A B A G. Okay, I'm gonna show you the biggest mistake I see people make. Um, it's it's right here. See where my arrow is? You have a G, and then it stays on G. That's why I kept saying stay there. Okay. Um. So yeah, that is the song. You've learned. A complete song. So practice that and then next week we'll get around to learning uh, a new note, okay? So uh, what you have left to do is just your exit ticket, okay? So I posted your exit ticket on your Google Classroom. You'll see it in your things that are due today. It will just say music exit ticket February 17th, okay? So Make sure to turn in your exit ticket so you get credit for having um, completed class today. And next week, we will have a live class again. All right. Goodbye.